I went and saw um, Red 2 today with Lee Bung, Bung Hun. I cannot say his name. The guy from Iris. <laughs> um, he's, I saw Red. I've seen Red 1. And while I enjoyed it, because I really like John Malkovich and Helen Miriam, and um, the first one had Morgan Freeman in it, that he dies in the first one. Shh, spoiler alert. I really like them. I'm not a big fan of Bruce Willis. I'm really not. He just acts the same in like every movie. But I love John Malkovich and Helen Miriam. So that's why I saw the first one. And it was okay. You know. And then the second one, they announced that Lee Bung Hun from Iris, it's going to be in it, and ugh, I had to see it. It was, it was better than I was expecting. I'm really not into action films at all. I mean, action with a purpose, but just straight out action films, I hate. Like, brainless chase scenes that last half the film or big battles at the end that last 30 minutes with no they actually put me to sleep examples of these kind of films ugh, every Transformers movie ever which is kind of sad because Hong Kong, Hong Kong I, can't, I can't pronounce names to save my life so please excuse me uh, from Super Junior um He's going to be in Transformers 4, which I'm very proud of him. And I'm going to go see Transformers 4 because of that reason. But if he was not in the movie, I would never, ever step foot in that theater. I hate Transformers movies and, oh, I hate them. Um, I hate anything with big giant robots. Even, I even hate big giant fighting robot animes. I just, I never got into those. Those like, um, Gundam or, um, I don't know, the others any anime in space. I don't like those. I like period animes like Black Butler or um, I don't like fighting animes. Like I tried to watch In Inuasha. I really like Shishomaru. He was my favorite character. Only reason I watched the whole the thing. But it went on too long and the ending wasn't even an ending. I wasted like how many hundreds of episodes that show has. Time of my life. Anyway, back to Red 2. His Lee Bung Hun's character, I loved his character. Even though he didn't have very many lines, and most of the time he spoke in like one-liners, like, uh, where's my plane? He was really obsessed with his plane. Um, it, it kind of, it fit the movie genre, because most people in the movie spoke in one-liners anyway. So that didn't bother me. His accent was perfect. I mean, you could still tell he had one, but it wasn't thick. You could understand what he was saying. Um, I only really noticed it when he started pronouncing R's, like, relationship. He messed that word up very... Not very badly, he just messed it up. And I noticed. Um, but what I found amazing was... There was five... Five... Five people in the theater. Yeah, there was only five people in the theater when we went. Me and my brother went... And there was a couple in the back and this one woman by herself. And I didn't expect anybody to react to him in the movie except for me. Like when he showed up on the screen, I was like um, excited and elbowing my brother. There he is. Look. You know. Um, but people really responded to him. They were laughing at his funny moments and they were cheering at his action scenes and I wasn't expecting that. And he was one of the only characters that they actually reacted to in the film. It was odd. And I don't think they knew who he was. It was just, he, he had a presence. So I would recommend seeing the film, but see it with an open mind. It's a action comedy, you know, it, it's not to be taken too seriously. It, take it as a fun film just to have lose yourself in for however long the film is hour and something two hours and just forget about your problems that kind of kind of film kind of film 